What's up everybody, this is Jonatha, and I'm back. And this... The music in this game seriously sounds like an 8-bit rap song. I mean, just put some random rap lyrics in there and <laughs> really does sound like a rap song. A little too fast, maybe, but still. Oh, oh, you mother! No. <laughs> anyway, that's about the first thing I thought of when I heard this music. Like this, starting to sound like rap, <laughs> eight-bit rap. Okay, find the door to win the game. Not really, because <laughs> this game is not about that. It's it's ba it basically takes the idea of find all the secrets in the level to the extreme. <laughs> of course, a lot of games have already done that. So if you come straight to the door, it says, You win! 0% complete, huh? <laughs> well, just go back in. And there are, of course, a bunch of secrets to find. Um, I don't think there are any in, in any of this. Go to the left, and you're basically whoa! Oh, I didn't see that one before. Base? <laughs> Seriously? Wait, what? How did I get here? I must have teleported or something. What the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh! How do I get out? Oh snap! Oh, uh, yeah. I've only seen uh, about the first 30 seconds of this, so the only part I actually saw was this. You're basically just feeling up the walls, pretty much, trying to find these little holes. <laughs> and if you thought of sexual activity when I said that, you're probably not the only one. Uh, well, onward. Ah, there's got to be a secret in, <laughs> in one of those things. Yeah, I didn't see any of the teleporting ones before now. It's a shoe. Mm. Oh, yeah. Seriously does sound like an 8-bit rap song. Okay, how do I get out of here? Nope, 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 nope. Um, must be over here. I'm not getting anything. Am I stuck? Oh, duh, it says R. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so... There's... did I already come in? Yeah, I already came in here. Duh, that's where I just came from. Pretty sure there was something else over there. Well, there's that. And somehow you gotta get teleported so that you show up there. <laughs> this is very confusing. <laughs> Nope, hold on, I want to see if there's... Oh, I forgot to do what I was talking about before. Oh, I didn't actually notice there's actually an arrow there, and I should probably take my mouse... <coughs> take my mouse out of the screen. The feel of this wall... nope, okay. There don't seem to be any of those weird, like, third dimension kind of things where you go through a hole in the wall where you can clearly see the other side, but you never know. I'm pretty sure I already checked out all of this. How did I end up in that one area, though? Pretty sure... No.
Didn't I come in here? Yeah. I thought I thought last time I tried that it ended up uh there. <laughs> hmm. Ah, that jump is gonna be awkward. Well, yeah, there is this. That's not exactly like a third dimension kind of thing, but <laughs> you can push... Dang it, what the heck? Come on. Billy. Okay, there's got to be something else. All right, then I will come over here. There we go. Feel these walls. Nope. Nothing there. Nothing there, nothing there. There's this. And is this the end of this area? Mm, I'm thinking there's gotta be something to do with these. <laughs> this is not Mario. <laughs> Boing. Really? Come on. <laughs> Slippery controls. Oh yeah, so by the way, I actually went ahead and ordered a uh, cooling stand for my laptop, and I actually ordered two, and I'm going to return the other one. Uh, the cheaper one works better because it has two fans, so it's a little bit des uh, more specifically designed for my model, because uh, the, M the Alienware M14X has two vents on the bottom, intake, uh, you know, air intake vents. So since this thing has two fans, then I've you know, positioned the two fans so that they're under those two vents, and therefore it works better than the other one, which has one fan. It still doesn't keep the computer cool by any means, but it's enough to keep it down about 5 degrees Celsius, and it uh, prevents... Um, the stutters that I get when I play games. Uh, some some games, if the CPU gets too hot, the game's frame rate will drop. Not the same way it does with Fraps. When I record sometimes, or you know, when I was recording before and I was getting those frame rate drops, it's not that bad. Uh, mainly because I'm not recording, and therefore, you know, I think the CPU is kind of shutting down for a second to cool down kind of threatening to actually shut the computer down, because I've heard that if people get up to 100 degrees Celsius, that it will shut down automatically. But thankfully I've never gotten up to there. But yeah, it would cause stutters for a few seconds. Really low frame, uh, frame rates for a few seconds. What? And, uh... That's pretty much it. It'll pretty much go back to normal for a little while, and then later it'll probably get another frame rate drop. It's, for the most part, preventing that, but like I said, it's not it's not exactly keeping it cool. It's still getting up to about 93 and 94 degrees Celsius. So I'm probably gonna buy... Well, the the one thing about this rig is the the two small fans only get up to 2,000 RPM, which is not very fast. I'm going to need a more powerful one. So I'm going to do some more research online and see if I can find a similar layout, but with uh, fans that go faster. And that would probably help. Okay, I'm not seeing any more secrets. There's got to be a way to get over there. I'm going to start jumping. I think I already did all that. But... Ugh. Hmm. I 
I wonder... <laughs> Can you, like, do this? Okay, no, this is not clean shot. You cannot jump after falling off a block, and I can't push that anymore. Oh, there we go. You cannot jump after falling off a block like you can in clean shot. And I just had another idea. Maybe these are not death. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so no, they don't lead to death. Wait, am I supposed to click? Uh, I guess not. Okay. It would be too obvious if all those pits led to death. <laughs> Alrighty then. Everywhere I go, bitches always know. <laughs> There's some kind of night vision goggles or something up there, and ketchup, or hot sauce. Like ski goggles or something. Crap. <laughs> nice. Now instead of wearing nerd glasses, he's wearing 70s glasses. <laughs> or no, a little later than that, actually. Maybe. No, not really. They did have some like that in the set. Of course, they do look more like goggles, though. Um, doesn't appear to be anything in here. Maybe up on the ceiling? Crap. Ah, so I can't do that in one big jump. Ah! <laughs> Seriously? Okay, probably better to do this and then make the big jump. There we go. Okay, yeah, there's nothing else in here. And that's the only pit, isn't it? What the heck? Oh, okay. <laughs> Doesn't that kind of ruin... I thought I tried that earlier and it didn't do anything. Oh, nice! You can <laughs> get little superpowers, sort of. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, now this game suddenly became much easier. <laughs> and these secret numbers are apparently not in any sensical order because... <laughs> yeah. They're not... well, they might be in a sensical order, but not one that I can see. Because I didn't design this game. Now, I'm not good at remembering, like, which pathways were where, and which ones I haven't gone into yet, so I'll probably end up going into <laughs> the same one that I went into a little while ago. Or just straight up not remembering <laughs> where another path is. Like, I'll be at 98% and be looking at areas I've already been, and so, uh, so on and so forth. Coffee! Coffee should be number one. <laughs> Let me go into here and see if there's anything I've missed. Now that I've got these goggles... Oh, 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 so there is something here. I thought so. Uh, you can't be sliding down it and find it. You gotta come up, or... Well, you kinda have to be moving slow to find it. That's what it is. <clears throat> and... Coke. And... come back over here, see if there's anything else further down.
and that's how you get that one. I thought I'd have to like drop down from here or something to get it. <clears throat> yeah. That's how you get over here. Mustard get. Uh, it's either a boomerang or a banana or some projectile from some bullet hell game. <laughs> now, I, I specifically saw that shape of, uh, and it was like a some kind of bullet or projectile from one of those kinds of games. Don't remember what game that was, though. Was there anything I missed in here? No. Okay. <laughs> As I said before, that will happen. Because I have a bad memory. Okay, I'm coming back in here. Beca oh, wait a minute. Let me check this area one more time. Yeah, same thing. That wasn't the area I just came from, was it? I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I think it is the same place I just went to. Okay. Wait, oh, there's no way to get over there. Okay, I was just seeing if maybe... Yeah, there's no way to get over there. So this isn't exactly like a free-roaming area where you can just kinda... or a free-roaming game where you can go anywhere you want. Obviously, because... wait, what? <laughs> okay, that's weird. This is not a free-roaming thing where you can just kind of go wherever you want, like go under the screen and stuff, because you kind of get teleported once you go too far. Was there anything else in here? No, that took me straight there. Eighth notes. <laughs> now I've got a feeling that there's going to be something extra. If I go, wait, which one did I just go in? I'll try this one this time. Oh, I just came through. I already came in here. That's where I found my coffee. Come on. Come in here again. And drop down a different one. And that just brings me here, okay. Now there's also one more thing I want to check. Might as well do it now before I forget all about it. That just takes me here. Okay. So those pits are, in theory, kind of uh, death death areas. Now, dropping down here is where I found the glasses, I believe. There's another area. <laughs> this makes it not, not only able makes you not only able to uh, get to the high stuff, but also makes it easier to navigate. Happy face! I'm gonna check this. Oh yeah, I never did come all the way down here, I don't think. I think I already came in here. Yeah, this is where I found the glasses. <laughs> Apparently.
Lego. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna get all the way to 100% in this video. I might do it in a separate video, but uh, anyway, this is 100% complete, but not really because I've only got 50. <laughs> anyway, this was made for Stencil Jam 2012 on Newgrounds.com, and uh, might check out some of the other entries later. But uh, yeah, I guess that's. Um, or stencil is, I believe, a program for making uh, games like this, simple flash games. And um, see, this menu is also used in uh, what's that program? Flixel, is it called? I think, maybe. I think it's called Flixel or something like that. It, that's that name is coming to mind, but uh, it's the same program that was used to make uh, what was that game? Uh, Cannabalt. But anyway, this is made with stencil, so I guess it just uses the same thing, or maybe one's based off the other. I'm not sure. Anyway, this was made for Stencil Jam 2012, and. Um, it's kind of entertaining, <laughs> entertaining time waster. Um, of course, I thought this was going to be more like a puzzle type game because it's actually classified as a puzzle game in uh, in its uh, little tags on or like the yeah in the descript in the category. I mean, <laughs> anyway. So it did turn out to not be the kind of puzzle game I was looking for because I wanted to play a puzzle game. Because uh, I tend to actually get more views on my puzzle games. Because when I played Fixation, I quickly got views on that series, and that was the I believe the first yeah that was the first series I put up. It was the first Flash game I played as well, and um, or it's the first Flash game I recorded, and uh, also when I did what's that other one? Afro Ninja Escape Series. Well, I'm pretty sure actually that one is getting a lot of views because uh, probably people are searching for the other Afro Ninja. That's probably why it's getting a lot of dislikes as well. Um, I don't usually get that many dislike to like ratio you know, ratios on my videos. That is the only video of mine that I personally liked and that the only reason I did that was because some jerk off uh, disliked it and was saying in a different language that um, I believe it was Portuguese or something that uh, like uh, the walkthrough was taking too long or something and <laughs> basically explained to him it's not a walkthrough it's a let's play it was two different things anyway so I, I that's the only video I personally liked myself well, generally I don't like my own videos because that's kind of lame <laughs> but uh <laughs> but yeah that's the only one I did like mainly because I wanted to offset that one dislike because I was the first rating I got on there and I didn't want my video to be viewed by someone and someone see that that big red bar basically and think oh this must be a crappy video <laughs> so yeah I put a like on it myself anyway <laughs> off topic but yeah I've noticed I'll, I'm actually pretty decent at puzzle games uh, you know portal things like that I've seen other people play games like portal and they I thought I was bad at them honestly but apparently I'm actually pretty decent at them because for example uh, Total Biscuit <laughs> if you see him play any puzzle game he is awful <laughs> awful at playing puzzle games he played Portal 2 for a little bit and was just like, utterly confused at like the very first levels a few times he got stuck quite a few times on just like the tutorial levels <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna try to do if I do flash, uh, if I do more flash games, which I probably will. I'm gonna try to do more puzzle games than anything else, cause uh, seem to be seem to be pretty decent at them. 
plus I kind of like playing puzzle games and uh, and not only that but my video would be not only a review but also just like a, a blind let's play I've always liked watching blind let's plays <laughs> I like seeing people either I like seeing the thought process behind solving a puzzle you know different people find things different ways and uh, the first Let's Player I ever saw on YouTube was Sir Eldrick IV. And uh, the reason I was looking up a walkthrough on one game and one of his Let's Play Blind videos came up on the side. And at first, I hadn't really heard that much of Let's Plays back then. Of course, I wasn't a big YouTuber back then either. But... um hadn't really heard of a let's play and especially it said let's play blind and then the game title I was like what yeah. the title didn't make much sense to me until I watched it a little bit and then I was like oh okay that's what the title means let's play and then it's a blind let's play and then the game title <laughs> but yeah I clicked on that video just to see what it was and I was interested in it so I kept watching his videos and uh, he hasn't been doing much for a while. He's been playing a Pokemon game. Of course, uh, I believe he's going... He's definitely in school right now, but he might be moving on to a career or something right now. Not sure. Anyway, haven't heard a lot. I, of course, I don't watch many of his other videos, like blo uh, video blogs and stuff like that. Because uh, I'm just more interested in his Let's Plays. But yeah, <laughs> I like seeing the thought process behind puzzle videos. And I figure, you know, th those are the videos I kind of enjoy doing more as well. So anyway, I'm going to be putting more... If I do see a, another decent looking puzzle flash game, I'll definitely go ahead and play that. Anyway, so this has been me playing halfway through this game. And you will see me later.